I mean, we're going to finally be, I guess this isn't considered an unboxing. We're going to be unbagging the Yaday Trooper 01. Before we get started on this video or on this re or I want to say in review on this unboxing, uh, I actually want to say hi to everybody. These behind the camera. Hey guys. Uh, I see uh, maybe a couple people in the chat. Say hi to everybody in there. If there's uh, any questions uh, throughout the stream, make sure you guys throw them down in the chat. Uh, but before we do get started on this unbagging and build of the Yaday Trooper 01, if you guys do want to support the channel, there's a link down below for the Yaday Trooper 01. And I think you get like $100 off with that discount link down below. Um, and if he days and for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So uh, this bike is actually pretty low. Um, as you guys can see, it's like way below my waist, which is right up here. I'm almost six feet tall. I just measured this seat. It's about 30 inches from the ground up. So I think D might be able to fit on it. So it fits people between five foot two and six foot. What was the, the highest max? Like six foot. I guess that's when the cutoff is. But let me sit on it first. This is like the first bike that we uh, actually had not have to build up as much. I guess it came with the tire, except for the Model J, which came fully built. But yeah, I think I'm going to just start unbagging it. The reason why it didn't come in the box is uh, FedEx had a little too much fun with the box and it came a little bit beat up. So I couldn't even move it in the box because it was just flopped over. So I haven't looked at it. I don't know if there's any damage done to the frame at all. It's nice that it's like almost put together already. And this bike actually looks just like the Rev, uh, the Rev 1 that I have. And it actually has the same little uh, compartment there as the Rev 1. I actually don't have that bike anymore. I got rid of that one. We're going to see if this is better than the Rev 1. Nice. Ooh, that's like a real moped style. Like, see, look how big it is. I love the color like of the black. It looks really wow. That is actually a very nice comfy seat. Like, I like when your whole cheeks fit on there. A yeah, little bit of my cheeks hanging off, but it, it feels really comfortable. Enough room for a passenger, too. Not sure if you can put pegs on this or not. Cool. Damn, that seat is really nice. You guys have any questions? Um, there's going to be a review coming out Saturday morning, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the... Async A1 Pro, then I'll be shooting the review for this one this week, and I'll also have the uh, Electric Bike Company Model J review that we got to shoot with uh, three batteries. They claim 150 mile range with that. Oh wow, how big is this bad boy? It looks like a 20 amp hour battery. I don't know any of the specs on this yet, I just know it's a 750 watt motor. Um, this, these bikes do come locked at 20 miles an hour, and Feedy actually told me that if you unlock it, the speedometer supposedly doesn't work. I don't know if there's going to be an upgrade or an update for to fix that, but and it looks like the controller is underneath the seat here. So it can Little, go faster. Uh, yeah, I think the top speed may be about like twenty-five to twenty-eight miles an hour. The frame actually does look pretty neat. I, I like how this this trooper on there, Trooper O One. Okay, there's. The, I was I was waiting for some zip ties. Any questions, guys? Let's see who's in the chat. Ugh. Uh, Blue Nose said, hey. What's going on? Marcy, I'm hearing a voice in the background. <laughs> is, our, is our mics on? Our mic, my mic's on. I see the blue. Check one, two. Do we sound okay, guys? Uh, Spaceman on wheels, what's up? What's going on? How's everybody doing on this beautiful... Is today Wednesday or Thursday? Today's Wednesday, right? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, I didn't do any release today. I actually did my super duper late taxes today. <laughs> so sorry about no wheelie Wednesday for you guys. No wheelie Wednesday. I do have a pretty significant upgrade coming for the Suron in about two weeks from Greenline Engineering. I'll be upgrading it to the Sotion motor. Uh, I'm still keeping the BAC 4000. I might switch it to the 8000, 8, but for now, what's awesome about that Sotion motor is it won't overheat. You can ho hold it open going like, 60, 70 miles an hour. Is that mic on? Everyone's saying my mic isn't working. It looks like it's on. Uh, hold on. You might be muted. Check, check one, one. Uh, can you hear? Was it on you? <laughs> or were you, was it on the, on can the ground? Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, I see like the, the sound wave moving. Hopefully you guys can hear me too. Yeah, they can hear you. But you sound far away. 
Oh. I'll have to check it on the stream later. All right. Does it sound any better, guys? Any feedback on that? <laughs> Damn, usually I have a box to throw all this in. Oh. What's up, Feedy? What do we got? A, looks like a, I want to say a two amp charger. It is a two amp charger. Yep, 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 two amp. 54.6 volt, 48 volt battery. That sucker up there, boom. Definitely don't need instructions for this, but this bike. Hopefully, uh, there's no struggle with shreddy. Looks like I just got to put on handlebars, so I'll be bringing up out other bikes to kind of compare the size to this. What's this? I didn't even open this box first. Oh, pedals. Duh. Pedals, keys, like a few random tools to discern about. <laughs> keys for the battery. What I'm going to do is just slide it. Right there. Did they say your mic sounds better? Oh, because you have the mic on, on there? You got to put it on your... It was. Oh, uh, really? Neil Harmon's in the chat. What's up, Shardy and D? What's yes, up? The mic is on. The mic is on? Everyone's saying I must be downstairs. What? <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're going to have to check this mic after. You just got to get it, like, close to you. All right. Pedals. Oh, if you guys missed it last night, we did a YouTube, or not a YouTube, but Instagram live, and we did a little bit of struggling where we totally used the wrong batteries. Here's our instruction manual. And wrong key. The wrong key, yeah. Oh, not the wrong battery. I meant to say the wrong key. We're just having a hard time. I extended the frame on the Sturon. Yeah, I mean, why do I need that? Right? You guys should always read the instruction manual before you guys ride the bike. Always best to do that, but I like doing this. A little quicker because we're doing it live. You guys don't want to see me reading through an instruction manual. Oh, hold on. Does it say uh, L on it? L or R? Oh, okay. This one says R. Let's go. I'm doing this like butt backwards. Normally, I usually uh, do the pedals last, right, D? Yeah. Kind of. Mike's mostly put together. Yeah, it's good. like. This is always fun doing. Hey, get out of the way. Oh, pedals. Come on. Oh, I'm just going to do it with my hand until it gets hard. Man, it. All right. There we go. Got one pedal on. Normally, you should put a little bit of grease on there, a little lube. Kind of. Right. Any questions, guys? <laughs> I bought a Quest 3 recently. I've been playing a lot with that. It's a lot of fun. If you guys do any uh, Quest 3 VR gaming, hit me up. I'm sure he makes skate on there too. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm just laughing because they're like, try rebooting my mic. Now Spaceman on Wheels is saying it. So we have Spaceman on Wheels in the chat. Thanks everyone for trying to help us, but I don't think it's going to work. It's not working, really? Here, let me see. At least you're working. It should work. Here, check, check one, two. Can you hear? Can, can you hear that? Can you guys hear that? Comment in the chat. Can you guys hear that? It's got to work. Cause Testing. <laughs> hold on. I'm going to mute my mic really quick. Now you say something. Hello? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> no. <laughs> really? All right. Check. Just keep going. All right. You're the only well, one there. You gotta, you gotta yell loud when uh, you read the questions. And <laughs> anything else going on, Didi? That uh, we have videos, bikes, more bikes. Oh, we got the mod bikes back there with the sidecar that we're gonna be unboxing soon. Do you guys think I should uh, build out, the, build up the sidecar live? I don't know. I've never done that before. I'm kind of like nervous to do that live. I don't want it to be like a super struggle with Shreddy. Yeah. Mark D, can you fit an extra battery in that carry case? And you might have to repeat what I'm saying. I will, I will try that. I'll try to fit an extra battery in that carry case. And it actually doesn't look like this battery can fit in there. But maybe you can get something. Oh, it's actually plastic. I thought this was metal. Okay. Something in there. Something in there. Yeah, I don't think this battery will fit in there. It looks a little too wide for it. But um, 
yeah, maybe you can put something a little smaller or build out like a little battery pack in there yourself and like cover it. Something. Something. Any questions, guys? I'm, I have the Super 73 right back there. It doesn't have a seat because I'm going to be installing the HandleWorks controller, the BC855 on there soon. Um, I'm just going to put it next to it to kind of compare the sizes. Maybe pull out some other bikes back there. I'm not sure if I, if I can. Mark D, are the fenders plastic? Yes, they are. They actually feel like, like my Suron fenders. Yep. And... Neil is saying my mic's been on the whole time. So oh. So we'll have to see. <laughs> Are you guys uh, trolling us? We're getting trolled, bruh. I'm just going to get the handlebar on there. What else we got? Anything? Any more Suron? Oh, I got the Suron forks. We, we're going to do a huge Suron like, upgrade day. But I did get the, the extender kit from Kemimoto, and that was... Definitely nicer. It feels a lot bigger. You just feel more on top of the bike. You have the review on this coming out next. Too. Yep, I'll be doing a review on this soon. But the one that's finished and ready to go is Saturday morning at 10 a.m. is going to be the Async A1 Pro. So be on the lookout for that. And more lives. More lives. Do it live. All right. Take a sip of water. Any questions? Um, Mike. Mark D said, do Telaria Sting R upgrades? If I had a Telaria Sting R, I'd love to do that. Or maybe if I, if I can find somebody that has one and they have some upgrades to do, we can all hang out and film the upgrades. All right, what do we got going on here? We got a cable here. looks like it might be for, um, I'm thinking the headlight. We got two plug tape. Two. My brake cutoff sensor or throttle or throttle plugged in. Yeah, it's plugged in. It's actually, oh, here it is. No, it's not plugged in. So I got to find everything to plug in. Okay. Let's get the bars on first though. Any questions guys? While I uh, get this bar on there. I'm going to have to figure out how to unlock this. If you guys uh seen a video on unlocking this bike or if you have the the way to unlock it let me know it might be just as simple as hitting two buttons on the menu and going through the p settings and unlocking the speed but i don't want to mess up and hit the wrong p setting and do something and it turns into a struggle you guys are enjoying this little uh unbagging and build <laughs> definitely don't forget to check out that link down below for the yaday trooper 01 it's like a hundred dollars off so when I put this on, it's going to be in like an across pattern so from the bottom right to the top, Paul left Diaz. to the top right to the... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Paul Diaz, just tuning in. What is the price on this thing? What is the price? We got to get all the specs out here soon. I actually don't like uh, reflectors on my bike. I don't even know why they put a reflector on the handlebar, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Do you have the price on my brown phone? Yeah, look it up. I want to guess like 2200 or something. That's a guess. That's a guesstimate. Guesstimation. Let me go to your link. Let me go to scripting. Hold on, let me get on this thing. This thing is definitely low. This is the lowest moped in my whole collection. See? 100% yeah. the lowest, the lowest bike we had. I thought the Model J was going to be as low as this or lower, but it's actually a little bit taller. Yeah, so this is great for shorter riders. Yep, definitely. You might want to repeat that in case they can't hear me. Great for shorter riders. <laughs> we'll have to check out this stream later when we get off. Oh boy. Yeah, I want to try this out. I want to test it out on your review. So it's yeah. two thousand one ninety nine and plus a hundred dollars off through your link. So, yeah, twenty two hundred minus a hundred bucks. About twenty one hundred dollars. Twenty twenty one hundred. What bike do you want to see this compare? I guess the only thing we really have more, most comparable is seventy three. I think the bars might be a little. Too 
I'm gonna see if I can wheelie this. The, I mean, the, the like, the bike definitely feels comfortable. 100% feels comfortable. I need to bring the bars back a little more, huh? They're like way too far forward. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. You know what, for now, I'm just gonna leave. Bring it back later. Who wants to watch me loosen the bars up? Oh yeah. Boys and Toys said I'm going to be upgrading my Tolaris Sting R. Heck yeah! What are you What are you throwing on there? You got a BAC 8000, 4000, Social Motor. Oh, I didn't tighten up enough, so we're good. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. You see that, D? Me Me trying wheelie yeah, practice. Better. Brought it back. We're gonna turn on the headlight. We're gonna check it out. Mark turn on D the display. Solaria R parts are cheaply made. Uh, by what companies? Or are you talking about just Amazon? Because there's a, <laughs> a lot of Amazon stuff going on. If you need serum parts, Shorty has a ton of discount codes for them. Even though my my Kemi Moto extender kit was like eighty bucks from Amazon, we're gonna see if that thing holds up. Is it if it's like Chinesium metal? Is it gonna like snap when I do a jump and I get owned? <laughs> Spaceman on wheels, have you discharged the battery before powering it up? No, I did not. But we're, we're still going to power it up, for sure. We're going to plank it on. It might be like at maybe 80% power. We do have a headlight. We got a horn. I'm, I'm wondering, guess, guys, do you guys think this is going to be like one of those just beep horns? Or is it going to be like a real horn like that's on like the Super 73, like a moped horn? So we'll turn it on. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh my god, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> you got the display right here. Battery is on. And the bike is not. Actually, you know what? I gotta I gotta plug everything in. Remember earlier, guys? You guys didn't remind me. There's probably a display I gotta plug in. Which looks like I do. I gotta find green. Uh where is the green one? Mark D said, is that Sir Onster in that chair? <laughs> He's just chilling. Okay, here we go. Okay. Jamal What's going Wiener. on here? Nice What's up? Nice bro. I miss watching you, the man. Oh, thanks for popping in, bro. You, the man that make me to get e-bikes. Hell yeah. Now I have three. Always what? appreciate you. What bikes are you rocking now, bro? Connecticut What's up, Scoot? Here. We're gonna be rocking your beanies here soon. It's starting to get cold, bro. It's starting to get really cold. I am not liking it either. Just liking the cold. Mario, All right. Mario Madness said the site says it's made for people five two to five nine, but you are six. I'm foot. about six foot five eleven and like almost to the end. Yeah, six foot. <laughs> yeah, it fits me fine. So. 20 by 4 CST BFT tires. We got a single speed drive train. Ooh, that feels nice and smooth. The pedaling. Oh, that feels nice. I think the pedals look like 170 millimeters. Uh, we just got a single rear uh, shock on the back. Front suspension feels a little stiff. They're RST forks. Uh, are they adjustable? I do not know. We can actually check down here to see if there's maybe somewhere to fill up some. Shock pump on, and nope, it doesn't look like they're any adjustable at all, uh, in the least. So, if you want adjustable forks, you're gonna have to swap them. And oh, the, the throttle's different. Display? Little quarter, qu quarter twist thumb throttle, but I've never seen one like this that actually wraps around the whole handlebar like that. Let's see if I like that or not. Feels okay. Oh, it worked! <laughs> there we go. Okay, so the battery is like pretty much almost. Why is this telling me the headlight's on when it's already? Because it's on. I just want to see if it tells me that my voltage is that my voltage forty seven point nine volts. Yep, a voltage. Awesome. That's awesome. I'm really glad that this bike tells you the voltage. And hold your ears. I'm going to see what the horn sounds like. Let's see. Is it going to be a beep or is it going to be a real? Murr, murr? Probably gonna be like a beep. Oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> it's like a car. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Drew, love, see you in Austin. You what up, Drew? Yeah, 
Yes, Drew, will you be there? I'm actually getting ready to pull out the Super and compare it like to this size-wise. And I got the, um, what do you call it? The, the pegs he gave me on there. I've been learning how to wheelie standing up and it's so hard. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking well. about possibly going to Austin today. Uh, Mike Feedy, so let me know if you want the unlock instructions. Yes, definitely Feedy, and I would definitely, I would appreciate that. Big time. Oh, I definitely can't wheelie this. The power is actually like very, this is full throttle at, on high. So it's kind of like a real slow throttle curve. Are there any more buttons? Oh, here's a headlight button. Where there's a headlight button on the power, if you touch it, it'll pop on the display, but the headlight button's on the left side, and <laughs> our horn is a little quick. So let's see how the battery comes out. Ice Cube said Uday makes a lot of other cool products that do not come into the U.S. Yeah, actually, guys, go check out their, I think it's a Uday Global, their website. They, this bike actually comes with a mid-drive. They, they make this in mid-drive. The seat looks totally different. Like, I think they got, like, motorcycles or something, like crotch rocket-style motorcycles. Yeah. You have a link below to the USA site. Yep. It's hundred dollars off. Oh yeah, Eddie. There's a lot of new people that joined. If you want to tell them, let me see <laughs> what this is. Twenty-five amp. So this battery can push up to twenty-five amps max. It's a forty-eight volt, twenty amp hour battery. I'm wondering if the controller is a. That can't be a twenty-five amp controller. It might be like a twenty, twenty-two, and it's covered by plastic. I can't see it. I can't see the controller. So it's kind of loose in there. But anyways, if you guys are interested in the Yaday Trooper 01, make sure to check out that link down below. You get $100 off. Um, I guess they're running like kind of special now. 100 bucks off. And uh, let me get that Super 73 out here. Let me get the battery back on there. Make sure when you guys do get these bikes, uh, get the battery off right away. Lap it on the charger. Make sure that uh, char charger turns green before you go back out and ride it. Yes, guys, we just discovered that my mic is broken. <laughs> oh, everybody's still saying that? Really? That's so weird. I wonder what's going on. So we have a lot of new comments. Let's see what they are. So is these mic like low or you just, you can't hear at all? It's like it's muted. Huh. That is not good. Boys and Toys said KO Nano and MX4 Motor. Uh, Spaceman on Wheels. Said tires look great, but I'd upgrade those ASAP. Oh yeah, I gotta fill them up with some air too. They definitely feel like empty. Actually, I, I, let me show you. I do have um, Huntsman's. Actually, maybe I could slap them on here. I have the Huntsman's, but they're four point eight. It's an upgraded Huntsman tire. What was going on with the old Huntsman's is the sidewalls were so thin, people were having problems with the 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 tires just popping out of the rims. So they sent me the upgraded ones. Sidewalls feel nice and thick. And Wait. instead of a four inch tire, it's 4.8. Winston Gaming. I'm currently looking into getting an Onyx RCR because my Super 73 has a burnt, burnt the controller up four times. Hold up. Before you do that, save yourself some money. Spend 600 bucks. Go to handleworks.com. Use code SHREDDY. Get $25 off this. SHREDDY with the IE. What this is, is a BAC 855. You've got, you got a display in here. You take the old fried controller out, replace it with this controller, take the display off, replace it with the display in here, and then you hook it up. You can hook it up to an app and pretty much program it the way you want, or you can use their stock uh, tune that they have already built into the controller. But uh, so I'm hearing people are definitely getting more torque out of the stock motor and a little bit more speed, maybe like two to three miles an hour. But the extra torque is definitely uh, noticeable, is what I'm hearing. So, save yourself a little money, 600 bucks. You get this controller from H-A-N-D-L-W-O-R-K-S.com. And I'm gonna pull out the Super. I've already actually got the seat off ready for this to get installed on here, but we're not doing it today, of course. Um, but just kind of like a size comparison. You gotta see, I put the, the pegs on here. I can stand on and do wheelies now on there. Oh, tell me if this is like a good angle for for size, guys. Well, you don't have to see it on. I know, but it's still like you can see kind of like the size of of the bikes. They're almost almost the same, but you can tell this one's a lot smaller compare compared to like. Can you guys tell? I can't really tell in the camera. 
Yeah, look. I think it has the seats off, so it's like. Look how low that the. Oh, okay. And they, they, oh, now I can tell. Yeah, definitely a lot smaller. Like, with a seat, it'd probably be here. With the seat, is like way under. Can you show where it would be again? I was. All right, so with this this seat, like, you know what? Let's pretend this is a seat. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. It'd probably be like up to here. And then when I come up, I'm gonna keep my head. I know that's probably not the best way of measuring, but you see that? That that much. No, we can't see your hand because the handlebar. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that much shorter than a yep. Super 73? Yep. Oh, Brian McCann, shred head member, just had his eight month anniversary. Whoa, congratulations. And a uh, big shout out to all the shred head members and a big shout out to Brian McCann. Thank you for being a shred head member for eight freaking months. Is that for real? Eight months? He said we, get the Segway off for size two. We start, oh, that thing is tucked away. It's going to be hard to get. I wish I wish I had like a big freaking like warehouse where we could like shoot these live videos and I can grab all the bikes and do. Yeah, but it's hard. <laughs> I was in the middle of saying something. But I... um, size? <laughs> I, I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> oh, Shredhead member? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you want to become a Shredhead member and uh, you get the little Shredhead logo next to your name, like you see uh, on Brian McCann's name, and I think it's highlighted in green. Uh, it's like five bucks a month. Sometimes I put out videos like three days earlier and you guys get to watch them before everybody else. I give you guys a shout out at the end of the video too. Sometimes I'll like do a wheelie and just throw your names in there. Um, yeah, so definitely join the Shredhead. And with all the money, that, all the money that's going to the Shredhead memberships, we're actually throwing all that into the printer van fund or cargo van fund. We're gonna have to figure out this mic problem. I wonder what's going on. Bubs 330 said shred or die, baby. Shred all day, all day. Hold on, what if you take this mic and I take that one? Will it sound different? Then no one's gonna hear you. I wonder if you're just not close to it, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> did I say it? Mike Feeney said let him know if you want the unlock instruction. Definitely want to unlock it ASAP. Bubba I'll sit in the chat. Definitely a really comfortable Bonner. seat. Russell said, Austin will double your rebate on an e-bike. Sell hard when you're there. Oh, let me talk about like the parts too, because I'm like, I'm like going all over the place. So we, we do have Tetra hydraulic disc brakes. My guess is going to be two pistons by the looks of it. Yeah, two, two piston hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear. I guess in 100, here's the rotor. Here's the rotor side. 180 millimeter rotors. And then like I said, 170 millimeter crank arms get nice extension. There's not, there's no gears on here, so. Once you get to a speed where it's too much, you're just going to be ghost pedaling. But with these moped style bikes, I really don't mind that at all. And we got this little basket in the bottom, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery, uh, pushes a max of 25 amps. Not sure what the controller is, if it's really pushing 25 amps. Um, maybe I can get that info later. What else we got? 20 by four inch CST BFT tires. Is that it? <laughs> Yeah, we just had a bunch of Shredhead members enter the chat. What? Where you at? Where you at? So we have Brian McCann, Ion Flow, The Scarecrow, Nevermind, and Kurt. Heck yeah. What's up, Shredhead members? Where have you been? If you guys are enjoying this video, definitely don't forget to drop a like. That does help push this live stream out to other people. Maybe they pop in the chat and hang out with us today. Kurt said, Shreddy, I bought your long sleeve shirt. Oh, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Is it from the, the three pin products I put in there? Yeah. I awesome. said, it looks like you could easily add a second battery in place of that basket. Down here? Yeah, I 100% agree. 100%. You can actually probably remove the basket and put a huge battery down in the frame there, like one of those triangle packs or something even bigger. Oh, Scarecrow just had his eight month anniversary. Whoa. So we got two people with eight month anniversaries. That's awesome. He said, looks like I've been around for eight months of great content. I appreciate it, brother. And thank you so much for being a Shredhead member for eight months. Jeez. Years, a year's going to go by and, and a snap of a finger. Dude, that's crazy. A snap of a little finger. <laughs> <laughs> Brian said he wants to see your Segway Megatron. Um, Megatron. Weekly? <laughs> and tacos. weekly? All right. 
Maybe I should. I, I kind of want to do more go kart stuff, like go to drive throughs, get some food, go camping with my go kart. <laughs> Scarecrow said, "Nice bike." Thank you, thank you. What do you think? Uh, you know about the comparisons between these two? Almost kind of like the same. We got the basket, the basket, battery on top. You know, soon I'm gonna have the new BAC 855 controller in there soon, so be on the lookout for that live stream coming pretty soon. Maybe I'll do it this week. What's today? Wednesday. Maybe we'll do it Sunday. We'll put the BAC 55 on there Sunday. See what it's like to wheelie it. I'm gonna try to wheelie this, but from the from the feels I'm getting here on the throttle, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough torque to actually like hold it up. And I'm gonna have to swap the brake too. And tighten. There we go. Right there. Any questions? Any questions? Oh, that's no throttle. Oh, Brian and Scarecrow both joined the same day. Ooh, I saw her. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, <laughs> I see some faces. Said, what took you so long with this? I know, thing? bro. I, I couldn't. We were having such a hard time getting the link from them. And it's like, I, I guess they're in China. So the time differences and just it's it's been a, a, a fun journey getting the, the link for you guys to get this re or this uh unboxing out and review i guess coming soon oh man i wish we i wonder if we can program that delay out one thousand about a one second delay i think you'd say he would add a little color maybe a vinyl wrap on the battery or basket not a bad idea i really like oh, the all black color yeah actually i could take that off and put my own little logo on the side I kind of want to upgrade uh, the vinyl on this. It's kind of like washed out looking now from the sun and just having it like that for years. But what is this spike? It's 2100 bucks right now, 750 watt. About It comes locked at uh, 20 miles an hour. You do have to unlock it. Uh, if you guys do want to get your own your Day Trooper 01, check out that link down below. It's 100 bucks off your order. Got to unlock it. Let me just try. All right, we got the P1 setting. Boys and Toys said, when are you heading to Dallas, Fort Worth? When am I going to Dallas, Fort Worth? Um, we might be doing an Austin trip pretty soon. So I don't know if we'll, we'll be hitting up Dallas, Fort Worth. I've actually never been there. The last trip I, I took to Texas, what do we do? Houston, Austin, and... Uh, oh, yeah, you did Houston. Yeah, I did Houston, Austin, and I visited my mom in Killeen. <laughs> you might you might be going around Dallas area though. Possibly, possibly. Jamal said looks great, nice bike. Thank you, thank you. I scoot. Your day had contacted me about reviewing product, but I did not make the final cut. What? Oh man, I'll send you this one, brother. <laughs> I like that little the RSD cover. Pretty cool. Turn this sideways. Oh, hold on. Let me turn on the light. Does it have like a, a, a rear? Kurt said, Kurt, another Shredhead member said, I'm planning on going to Electrify in Austin. Are you going? That's a possibility. That's what we were talking about. Uh, Texas trip. Does it actually flash when I hit it? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh, almost hit the... Anyone else in the chat going to go to the Electrify Expo? There's one in Miami this weekend, and then Austin's is November 10th. I'm bummed out I missed the Mega Ride. I totally had like that fear of missing out, and I totally missed out watching all those videos and seeing everybody ha have so much fun, man. If you guys missed any of those videos for the, of the Mega Ride this year, go on YouTube, search Theron Mega Ride, and you'll see all the fun videos. Everybody's just having a blast. All right, so and any more questions before we end it? Any more questions? Is this it? <laughs> we are going to be doing some more uh, unboxings and live uh, pretty soon. Like I said, we got the mod bikes with a sidecar. This thing is humongous. Might have to move the couch out of the way to, to actually set it up. Um, we got the BAC 855. Maybe I'll do that before the mod bike. Um, we have the electric bike company Model J. My super custom out, uh, customized bike from Electric Bike Company, super awesome looking. Um, and I can wheelie that. I, I, I tested it out. Uh, what else we got? What else? AC and Gate 1 Pro, Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You'll be reviewing this bike next week on the channel. Yep. People say that they can't hear me. 
Oh, I'll be reviewing this bike next week on a channel. Is the mic? Oh, the mic isn't on you. That's why. Hold on. Let me see that mic. I just took it off. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe you're just not as. Here, hold this. Brian McCann no. said, any new song? And, no, actually, I had a giveaway my guitar. I didn't give away my guitar. I gave my gu acoustic guitar back. I'm sorry. I need to get actually my electric guitar here and buy a wash burn. I need to buy an electric wash burn and just jam out again because I definitely miss playing music and my, my finger calluses are going away from playing guitar. I scoot with winter coming, you need to oh, add a to the mic. With winter coming, you need to add a ski to one of the bikes. Uh, oh dude, they, they actually make those for the surround. They have a, I think it's like a track kit or something. It has like the tank treads on, on it and actually has a ski on the front. Can they hear me or they can't hear me now? Can you guys hear Eddie? Can you guys Dreddy? hear me the same? Did it even change? I'm using D's mic now. John Veery, mid fender splash guard on the Yaday is on backwards. That should, that's, hold on, that's good. Oh, this is on backwards, yeah, actually. That is totally on backwards. What the hell? Good eye, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. I've had scooters delivered with tires with the arrows facing backwards, like both tires. Like, what the hell? Matter Ed said, you day. Yeah. I was going to buy this to swap the frame out with the S2, LOL. Bro, I don't have uh... Oh, yeah, I do. That is hilarious. It's backwards, guys. Dude, how did you catch that? That's crazy. Oh, it's not a... Oh, yeah. Thank goodness. Thank goodness they make these screwdrivers reversible where they change it. From Phillips, the flathead. Oh, okay, Shreddy. So Matter had said he was going to buy this to swap the frame out with the S2. Oh, really? Oh, that would have been cool. It's a little bit lower, I think, than the S2. Matter Ed, you can use Shreddy's uh, discount link in this video's description. He's got a Suron. He's good. <laughs> Which I, I, next time we we, we go out to uh, Cali, I want to hit you up, man. Got to go for a ride, hang out. Shreddy, they can't hear you. Oh, they can't hear me now? So it is the mic. That's weird. Brian McCann said, enjoy the new memberships, people. Wait, Brian, uh, did you give out memberships? memberships? Why does he not tell us when he gives out memberships? Kurt said, I have Shreddy in stereo on my LG TV and on my laptop. Can You, you guys can't hear me? I, I sound far away with this one? Or... Here, I'll take that back then. Neil said, Shreddy, the Async has a 40 amp battery. Ride it to OC and back for a range ride. Dude, I would love to do a range test, but unfortunately, I got to box that one back up and send it back this week. I would love to do a range test on a, that big ass battery, big 40 amp hour battery. Should I grab the, uh, the other? I feel like I'm out. Hold on. I keep on hanging. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Couch. Hold on, I didn't even hit the throttle though. Maybe you did. I did? Whoopsies. <laughs> Whoopsies. It didn't leave a mark. We're good. I'm going to grab those tires really quick. Hold on, hold on. Just give me three seconds like to get this. Dropping things. All right, so these are the V Tire Huntsmans. They are 20 by 4.8. And what the old ones, the uh, Huntsman's I actually have on the Super, the sidewalls are super thin and they were like super easy to bend. Like these, you can already tell, like they're a lot harder than, than the ones on there. The ones on there almost felt like, I don't even know, like a rubber band, like that thin. But these are definitely a lot nicer, a little bit thicker. These are uh, 20 by 4.0s, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 20 by 4.0s and these are 20 by 4.8. So... Nice batter tire. Looks pretty sick. V tire Huntsman's. If you guys want a link for this, let me know. I do have the Amazon link I could send out. But that would look pretty rad on there, huh? I'm not sure if a 4.8 will fit on these forks, though. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure if it would. It might, though. I could, try. I could always still try. <laughs> what are the questions coming through? So Brian said he gifted five people a Shredheads membership. What? Are you serious? Thank you, Brian. You are the man, dude. I appreciate it. I'm going to write you a song when I get my new guitar. 
<laughs> we'll sing La Bamba for you again. Bob said, well, matter it said there, the mic is fixed, but other people are still saying it's not. What? Oh, because I gave you the like mic. Echo. Yeah. Oh, matter it, I got the Handleworks controller for the S2, though. I'm excited to see nice. how that goes for the BC855. Awesome. When are you going to install yours? All right, we're going to end the stream there. No more questions, guys. We're going to be going live very soon. I see D laughing at something. Um, so make sure if you guys do want to support channel, there's a link down there for the Day Trooper 01. Uh, gets you $100 off. Um, no no more uh, actual affiliate links for this. I did have one, and I just saw that the program ended. So no link for that. Um, but definitely a link for the Day Trooper 01 $100 discount. Uh, and if your day isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Any more questions before we end it? All right, guys. Um, as always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification <laughs> to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? <laughs> In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. It'll probably be uh, maybe Sunday. Thank you guys for joining. Say bye-bye, Dee Dee. Bye, guys.